All right, so Mr. Natitis, let's talk to them first about the guidance counselors and how the school counselor structure is laid out with the Collegiate Academy. Sure. Um, the students who are in the Collegiate Academy uh, are assigned a guidance counselor according to uh, their last name. Um, this, this, this started uh, this year. Uh, we used to have a Collegiate Academy guidance counselor. We do not anymore. Um, as far as questions concerning um, high school graduation requirements, changing schedules uh, at Leonard, uh, that all goes through your child's uh, or your student's guidance counselor. And uh, as you can see here, we have five phenomenal guidance counselors. Uh, Ms. Osgood, who does A through DE, Mr. Barona, who does DI through J, Mrs. Sherry, uh, who, who actually had two young, uh, her two young daughters uh, go through our program uh, about a decade ago. Um, Mr. Betancourt, who does PH through S, and Ms. Uh, Diaz, who does T through Zs. Um, when it comes to questions and concerns about collegiate academy courses, uh, when it comes to scheduling uh, for your classes at HCC during your junior and senior year, uh, when it comes to advising about summer classes that you may want to take through HCC, then you come to me. That, that's, that's, that's my piece, uh, is, the, is the dual enrollment part. Uh, the, uh, guidance counselors that you see on the screen are the are, are the guidance counselors that will help uh, students graduate from high school. My job is to help you graduate with your AA degree. All right, uh, some of the benefits of our program. Uh, in our program, you have the opportunity uh, to earn an AA degree in liberal arts from uh, Hillsborough Community College. And Hillsborough Community College is a real college. The, 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 the courses that are offered there are accredited. They're accredited by uh, a regional institution called the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. Okay. There are five regional accreditation uh, uh, regions, maybe there are six, excuse me, six, uh, that give the okay for, for, for colleges to, uh, to tr you know, to transfer credits between one and another. So if you're thinking, uh, are credits from HEC, are they going to transfer to UF and USF? Yes, they are. Uh, and, 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 and across the nation as well, simply because Hillsborough Community College is a, a regionally accredited uh, institution. Okay. Uh, our AA degree uh, transfers, or most of the, cr the credits in our program transfer to most colleges and universities. Are there some uh, elite private universities that do not accept uh, community college uh, credit? Yes, but for the most part. Uh, most schools do accept community college credit. I had uh, a student last year, I filled out a form for them, uh, and the school wanted to know uh, which credits were, were part of the AA program uh, and, and part of the, their high school diploma. Uh, and I did it for two schools. I did it for Boston University and for New York University, NYU. So even those kind of private schools accept community college credit as well. And of course, UF, uh, USF. Uh, UCF, et cetera. Uh, tuition and textbooks are at no cost uh, to students and families. Uh, and that is true for all dual enrollment students uh, in the county, whether you're taking dual enrollment at Leonard or, or Newsom High School or, or East Bay. Um, dual enrollment classes are for free as well as textbooks. Um, having an AA degree, having the exposure to rigor uh, is, going, is going, is oh, going okay. to no problem, no problema. Hello, Mrs. Diaz. Welcome. Um, and it does have an opportunity. It, it gives you that, that, that competitive edge when you're applying to schools. Uh, we've had students um, go off to the, uh, uh, to the Naval Academy. Uh, I've, had, I've had students uh, who are now applying to the University of Chicago, uh, students at NYU, I've had students at uh, Ivy League schools like the University of Pennsylvania. Um, it gives you a heads up uh, uh, into, uh, you know, those, those, those competitive schools. Uh, we have students at uh, UF, uh, of course, uh, USF. Um, our, our students go everywhere. Uh, but uh, I really believe the Collegiate Academy gives them that, that competitive edge. Okay. Uh, as far as students uh, participating in after school programs, uh, sports, um, all our academy, uh, most of our academy students are in some sort of activity, whether they're, they're, they're athletes or they're in some sort of club. Um, as far as uh, I, we have 
academy students that are on the football team, on the baseball Friggin team. Friggin' list I made up there. Oh, um, did you see it? I added to it. Yes, I see that. Thank you. On the uh, cheerleading squad, a flag football, uh, a girls volleyball, uh, we have students uh, in, in, in all sorts of programs. And uh, finally, another benefit is that students uh, are, may be invited to uh, uh, join Phi Theta Kappa, which is a not only a community, a community college national honor society, but a, uh, a, an undergraduate uh, uh, honor society. Uh, they even have a chapter at uh, USF as well. Okay. Um, what are things that you're going to master while you're at, at Leonard? Uh, uh, study practices that, uh, that you may not have uh, uh, mastered in middle school, uh, you will definitely master in our program, time management, uh, taking notes, reading for comprehension, reading, uh, finding, uh, establishing study groups, creating a routine, uh, getting ahead on assignments. These are all study practices that, that you're going to master while in the program. And these are the, these are the practices that are going to make you a successful undergraduate student. Okay. Uh, reading for comprehension, uh, building vocabulary, um, using uh, sophisticated vocabulary, uh, you are going to see in, in these college-level textbooks, simply by being exposed to them over and over again, uh, you'll build up your vocabulary. Note-taking skills, using shorthand, uh, these are the kind of things that uh, you will have to uh, master, uh, and you will. And these are, th these are skills that uh, you will need uh, throughout your life. Uh, currently, we have 370 Collegiate Academy students in the Academy, uh, and we offer courses both at Leonard uh, that, that are taught through credentialed instructors and uh, courses that are offered at South Shore, the HSC South Shore campus. Uh, last year, we had 83 students uh, graduate with their AA degree in liberal arts. And again, uh, as I mentioned before, we have a number of students uh, attending a number of prestigious universities, uh, including the University of Pennsylvania, et cetera. Uh, there is Lenny the Longhorn, and he's in the middle of the center of our campus. Uh, uh, Lenny is a, the, the, the center of, of our campus. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's nice to look at, but you can't touch Lenny. That's, that's the one thing you do not do is we don't sit on Lenny or touch Lenny. Uh, only on very rare occasions can you go up there and take a picture with Lenny. Uh, what we see here are pictures of the South Shore campus uh, directly across the street from uh, Leonard High School. We see the, the first picture is their media center. The second picture is their new science building. Uh, and students uh, who are in the program do, do have access to the campus. Ah, there's an aerial shot of Leonard and um, HCC. Uh, when we say we're across the street from HCC, we are directly across the street from HCC. Uh, the, the campus that's, that's further away is Leonard High School, and the one that's uh, in the, in the, toward the center here, toward, closer to you, toward you, uh, that is uh, HCC South Shore. And Yes, during the junior and senior year, students do walk across or drive across to attend classes. Uh, some of the requirements to remain in our program, congratulations uh, in being admitted to our program, uh, but we do have strict uh, uh, requirements uh, that you must meet throughout the four years in order to remain in our program. And these are, pro these are requirements that are not specifically for collegiate academies. Uh, these, are, these are requirements for all uh, uh, middle school and high school students uh, who take uh, dual enrollment classes. Students must maintain an, a 3.0 unweighted high school GPA and a 2.0 uh, HEC GPA throughout the program. And, and that, again, that is not our rule, uh, that is a, a state rule. Uh, in order to take most of the classes uh, in our program, uh, you must have passing scores on the PERT, the post-education readiness test. Uh, it's a placement test. Uh, that, that allows you to take most community college courses. Uh, it, there are three subtests to the PERT, reading, writing, uh, and mathematics. Uh, and the, 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 sub, the, the subtests are, are, are scored from 50 to 150. Uh, 106 is the minimum requirement for reading, 103 for writing, and 114 for math. Uh, students that want to take a more advanced math class, college algebra or above, are required to have 123 on the, on the, on the PERT. Uh, we are able to use SAT or ACT scores 
uh, in place of the per, I know some students have already taken the SAT or ACT uh, while in middle school uh, through the Duke TIP program. Uh, again, we need scores that are either SAT or ACT. PSAT scores do not count toward this requirement. Um, and it is vital, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, you pass these three subtests in order to remain in our program. Uh, students that are not, uh, who don't meet these requirements uh, after a, uh, a, a probation period uh, must return back to their um, zone high school. One thing that I do want to mention as well, students that are in our program and leave our program after the first semester of their sophomore year will be class ranked with the Collegiate Academy um, for the rest of their high school career. Uh, if they obviously if they remain in Hillsborough County, uh, if you if your student is going off to Pinellas County or or or, or Polk, I mean there is no way we can compel Polk County to to, to 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 rank you with us. But if you do go if you do go to another Hillsborough County public school or charter school, uh, you will rank with the academy. And Mr. Titus, I am going to interject just for a minute because I we are throwing a lot of information at you, yes, um, kiddos and parents. One of the things about the PERT test that we do offer, it, we have multiple administrations for you to take that exam. We actually give you two exams per year uh, for free. We offer at Leonard, we have HCC come out and help us. Uh, we also have our math and reading coach that also do PERT boot camps. We do some readiness activities. We also have Khan Academy channels that we have dedicated just for that. So please don't think that you're ever on your own. Um, yes, you are in a collegiate academy, but we are a big family. We have multiple interventions, like we said, and there's even an opportunity not uh, for free, but a uh, cost of uh, what Mr. And Titus ten twenty dollars that you $10 can take per, per subtest. yeah and and you can take that per test as many times as you need to to get the scores that uh, that you need or that you want like Mr. And Titus said for advancing into those different levels of math if you're going into like a STEM program post graduation okay so I just wanted to interject and say that you don't ever have to feel like you are on your own and that we're just going to leave you to your own. Uh, we have plenty of things in there that will help get you the scores that you need and have those interventions just in case something didn't happen with one test on one day. No, no, absolutely. I mean, you will have um, uh, two opportunities to test with us. And uh, again, you will, you know, you may have multiple opportunities as well to test uh, at HCC uh, to get the required score. Um, and, and, and I do um, suggest, uh, and, we'll, and we'll be um, emailing out um, more information about the PERT and, and, and where to find information about the PERT and how to study for the PERT uh, for the summertime. Uh, it, it would be a great opportunity uh, this summer for students to uh, look at that information in order to prepare on their own. Uh, and then uh, as we uh, do review um, during the first semester uh, at, at Leonard to prepare you for, for the test. All right, um, additional information about our program. Understand just like uh, students who are in uh, middle school who take high school classes and you begin your, your high school GPA while in middle school, uh, this program is very similar. Uh, once you take your first HCC class, you begin your undergraduate GPA and your great grade point average. And those grades that you receive in our courses uh, in the Collegiate Academy will remain on your undergraduate transcript. So that is, that is something that I do want uh, students and, and parents to understand that uh, the, GP, the GPA starts uh, day one. Um, weaved into our program are AP classes, uh, especially uh, AP Human the first year. Uh, that, that is simply part of our program. Uh, I, I do recommend that students take AP classes throughout the four years in, in, in our program, especially uh, in, uh, in areas like uh, STEM areas, uh, AP Calc, um, AP Physics, AP Chemistry. Uh, th those are courses that are not strong in a liberal arts program like our AA degree, uh, but you may supplement um, you know, that, that, that kind of rigor with AP courses. Um, over the summer, this summer, I do recommend uh, that students uh, take HOPE, 
our health and PE uh, graduation requirement uh, via a Hillsborough Virtual School this summer. Um, what will happen is you will create an account, you will go on, sign up for the course, and the guidance counselor will approve uh, the course for you. I'm going to pause right there. I'm sorry, Mr. Natitis, but uh, we do have Mrs. Diaz, our school counseling department head, on the Zoom with us. So, Mrs. Diaz, if you will, can you speak just briefly about how an eighth grade student, so our rising freshman, would be able to sign up for that HOPE class over the summer? Oops, will you unmute yourself, Mrs. Diaz? I'm sorry. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mariam Diaz. I'm the guidance department head, and I'd like to welcome the class of 2025 to Leonard High School. Um, one of the things that uh, I believe Ms. Green wanted me to talk about, I didn't hear her that clearly, but uh, is the classes that they can take on Florida Virtual School. Is that correct, Ms. Green? Actually, just specifically HOPE, but yes, okay. I mean, that's the one that we were mentioning, but uh, yes. just how an eighth grader would start and make sure that they're tied to Leonard. Yes, we have many, many students, collegiate and non-collegiate students that take HOPE. Uh, they begin it during the summer, right after they finish their eighth grade, and they continue taking it until they're done with the first and second semester. And that's what I call a double whammy. They get the HOPE credit and they also get their online course requirement done ninth grade. So we would like to encourage as many eighth graders to sign up for that class. If it's after you uh, finish eighth grade, then just put Leonard High School as your school site and someone during the summer will be able to approve that class. Uh, the first step is signing up, of course, and then you'll get what we call a welcome call with your parents. And once you talk to the instructor, then you'll be able to begin the class. It's not a very difficult class to do, but we encourage you to do it. And this year we're asking students to sign up on Florida Virtual School, but select the Hillsborough Virtual School option. It's very important that you select that option this year uh, so that you can get that credit. That's one whole credit. You can get it over with uh, for PE, and you won't have to do any other PE classes throughout your high school experience. And um, you're welcome to email me. Uh, I'm on the Canvas page, uh, also on the website, and I'll be happy to answer any questions uh, today at the end if uh, we're open for questions and answers, and also by email or by calling me. I believe there is a list of the counselors. Uh, we have five counselors that deal with collegiate and non-collegiate students, and we're all happy to help you uh, with the transition. Uh, again, I welcome you to Leonard High School, and if we can be of any service to you, please feel free to contact us. And I'm going to leave you with that. Ms. Green? Mr. Natitis, see, we're good at helping each other. This is what the Longhorn Way is. Absolutely. Um, World, uh, a, a foreign language or world language, uh, two, two years of the, uh, the same foreign language is required for the AA degree um, at, uh, at Hillsborough Community College. It is also a requirement, entrance requirement to a four-year uh, program, uh, for example, USF, UCF, et cetera. So uh, students, uh, we, we encourage students to finish their foreign language requirement early. Uh, those students that are already in uh, Spanish 1 this year as, as eighth graders, uh, you will be uh, scheduled for Spanish 2 next year. And uh, again, uh, if you're not scheduled for Spanish, you know, you may select uh, either Spanish or ASL uh, for next year. Um, we, we're, also in, we're, also make, we're, we're also trying to make sure that students finish their foreign language requirement prior to their uh, senior year. Uh, and a couple of years ago, this was not an issue, uh, but ever since the two years of high school uh, foreign language became a requirement for the AA degree, uh, students who finish their second year of Spanish or ASL during their, during their senior year, uh, that's great too, um, but they will not be considered a spring graduate for their associate's degree, simply because the, Spanish, the high school Spanish class will not be finished till. Uh, the end of May, grades will not be in 
uh, finalized by June, uh, and an HEC that you know still needs that information. So if the if the, if the Spanish requirement or a foreign language requirement is not completed uh, prior to the first first semester senior year, um, the student will be uh, a summer grad with their AA degree, not a spring grad. So we, we are encouraging and, and we, are, we are planning on uh, to schedule you into a foreign language or world language uh, early rather than later. Mr. Natitis, can I just uh, interject a minute, please? Absolutely. Um, if your uh, student is not interested in Spanish or American Sign Language, Florida Virtual School, the Hillsborough Virtual School option, also offers other foreign languages. I believe they offer Latin, French, Chinese, and perhaps German. I'm not sure about that, but the other languages as well. So if they'd like to just do it online, they can do it as well. And uh, like Mr. Nasaitis said, uh, we uh, recommend that you finish your foreign languages as, as quickly as you can. This way you have room on your schedule uh, for other electives. Thank you. Okay, Oops. where are we going here? Okay, uh, academic electives. Um, um, for the most part, ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the, the Collegiate Academy is your elective for the four years. You, you will be taking uh, HEC classes uh, weaved into your high school schedule. Uh, but we do have students uh, that are in our four-year academic elective programs. Uh, for example, our ag program or vet program. Uh, these are four-year programs that students are, are able to earn industry certification. Uh, we have our uh, AVID program, um, and I achievement via individual determination, if, I, if, I, if, if, if I'm correct with, it, with that uh, acronym, acronym um, which is uh, many students in middle school are in that program, and that helps students uh, with study skills and organizational skills and, 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 and uh, college applications, another great program at, at Leonard. Uh, early childhood education, those uh, students who are interested perhaps in uh, uh, K-5 uh, education, another great program. Uh, we do have a performing arts program, uh, band, chorus, orchestra, theater, theater, that you can do all four years a while at, at Leonard, and of course our junior uh, ROTC program, uh, our leadership, our military leadership program uh, that uh, we encourage students to take. And we have Collegiate Academy students in all five of those programs. Uh, as far as athletics, uh, sports, again, uh, you, you, are, you are encouraged to uh, participate. Uh, that makes that, 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 that round, uh, all around student. Um, we have, again, like I said earlier, I have students that are in football, soccer, baseball, wrestling, girls softball, basketball, volleyball, swimming, cheerleading. Half the cheerleading squad is Collegiate Academy. Uh, tennis, track, golf, every one of those sports, uh, we have Collegiate Academy students and they thrive. Uh, clubs and, and, and school organizations, we do have a number of academic clubs and service clubs on campus uh, that we encourage you to, to join. Uh, DECA, FBLA, FCCLA, FFA, uh, Thespian Society, uh, the National Honor Society, uh, Debate Club, Robotics Club. Uh, we do have a number of service clubs as well where you'll be able to uh, accumulate um, service hours for the Bright Future, Florida Bright Future Scholarship, both Key Club and uh, Interact, student government also. And we have a number of special inter interest clubs as well that change from year to year. Uh, anime club, Disney club, um, um, girls that lift club, hip hop club. Uh, students, as long as there are four students and an advisor, students, you can start your own club. Uh, and, 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 and a lot of these clubs change again every year simply because uh, freshmen come in and uh, they want a new club and other clubs go away as juniors and seniors uh, graduate. Phi Theta Kappa, again, the uh, undergraduate uh, honor society uh, that's at, uh, at HCC and as USF as well. Um, you will be um, asked to join uh, as long as you have, you maintain a 3.5 GPA average through your senior year. I think the, the end of your junior year or first semester of your senior year, uh, 
uh, you'll be asked uh, if you have a 3.5 GPA, uh, an invitation to join uh, Phi Theta Kappa. Uh, again, great scholarship opportunities there, uh, and um, and also the ability to transfer that that, that membership to a, a four-year college, such as USC. All right, scheduling. Uh, what what are your classes going to look like? Uh, freshman, sophomore, and uh, junior and senior year. Uh, the classes that we have up here on the screen are the uh, courses for the associate's degree. Uh, first semester, um, we have the first year experience. Uh, it's a course that introduces you to uh, the various opportunities and, and departments uh, at HCC. It is a, it's, it's tailored specifically to HCC, but it is a requirement for the, uh, for, for the um, associate's degree. Second semester, we offer a health and a business class uh, for students to kind of get uh, their feet uh, wet with, with a number of diff different types of, of, of areas, uh, health analysis and personal finance, two, two great courses. Sophomore year is where we begin the bulk of the Collegiate Academy courses. Uh, the courses that you see here are, fit, are required courses for the associate's degree, um, general psychology, Intro to Film, Intro to Lit, Early U.S. History, Intro to Humanities, and Biology. The Intro to Film is, a, is, a, is an elective for your associate's degree, but it does fulfill a high school graduation requirement for your performing arts. So as, we, as you take courses uh, at Leonard, they will also fulfill your high school graduation requirements for, as well. Uh, going into junior year, English Comp 1, uh, modern U.S. History, Public Speaking, again, those are all required courses for the associate's degree. Uh, English Comp 2, uh, a math course, uh, and an intro to computers course, and, and again, another required course. As far as how does this translate to, to high school graduation requirements, uh, English Comp uh, 1 is going to fulfill your English 3 class, Comp 2, your English 4 class. Uh, the two semesters of HEC uh, U.S. History fulfill your your U.S. history uh, requirement to graduate high school. Um, and again, to graduate high school, you need a number of electives as well. So that's where uh, public speaking and intro to computers comes in. Senior year, um, we have uh, an additional math class, an additional science class that is required of the associates, a capstone class called Connections, uh, and then last semester, uh, HEC electives. So uh, a, a total of 62 credit hours total uh, to complete the associate's degree uh, while at Leonard High School. But while you're taking these classes, you are also taking uh, your high school uh, courses as well, English 1, English 2, uh, uh, freshman and sophomore year. Um, freshman year, you will be taking English 1, you'll be taking biology, uh, you'll be taking AP Human Geography, uh, you'll be taking your next math class, whether that's Geometry or Algebra 2. Um, you'll be taking, again, the, um, the first year experience, and you'll have an opportunity to take uh, Spanish 2, Spanish 1 or Spanish 2, or, or American Sign Language 1, uh, as well as I think we have this room for one, uh, one semester elective as well. And one of the things that I do, I'm sorry, Mr. Notitis, so I'm going to interject, um, is that this is just a sample. So I don't want uh, parents, I don't want you taking a screenshot of this or really start planning out, kiddos, like planning all of your life for the next four years. Um, there are the courses that are laid out between first and second semester. You will actually be into two different cohorts, so you won't have everybody will not have general psych first semester of their sophomore year. You could have them switched. I just didn't want you to think that, you know, a year from now when you see your schedule and it's not what we have on the screen, that's okay. That's okay. Our amazing guidance counselors and Mr. Natitis and our advisors across the street at HCC, they help keep track of both your high school and your HCC requirements, as Mr. Natitis said earlier. So don't worry, as long as you get those courses, and these are the ones that are laid out for the degree, doesn't really matter what semester that you take. Absolutely. We'll have some students taking general psych first semester, some will take it second semester, some will take intro to film first semester, and vice versa. And the same thing with all the other uh, courses that you see. Um, the goal. Uh, 
uh, great pictures here. Of, uh, your goal is to uh, graduate with your high school diploma uh, and your associate's degree in liberal arts from Hillsborough Community College. So we look forward to uh, celebrating with you. And you students, you will get your associate's degree before you get your high school diploma. Uh, the HEC graduation is always or has been uh, uh, the first Friday uh, of May. And our graduation is usually the second or third week uh, of May. So you will technically be a college graduate before you become a high school graduate. And again, here's my information. The best way to contact me, email. Um, I'm not by the phone. I'm not in my office as often as I like to be. So the best way to communicate with me is through email, um, and um, I try my best to respond within a 24 to 48 hour time frame. Okay, so since I saw her pop in, I'm going to put her on the spot. One of our assistant principals for student affairs is on uh, the the, uh, the meeting with us now. So Mrs. Calloway, if you will just wave at everybody and say good evening. I thought she was there. We do have assistant principals in student affairs that oversee things from hang tags to lockers to dress code to tardies. They're the ones that oversee that. So if you ever have any questions um, in regards to something that would be handled, like I said, through the student affairs office, we do have those assistant principals as Sorry. well. Hi, everybody. Mrs. Calloway, assistant principal. Um, I'm a student affairs, which means I'm here to help you. So if at any time next year when you enter Leonard High School, you need help, just come see me, and we'll get the ball rolling. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Ms. Calloway. You can tell us all bouncing in and out from all over the place. So the one last thing that I want to address before we will stay on for any questions that you think are for the good of the order, those of you that just have questions that you might need to send directly to Mrs. Callaway, Mrs. Diaz, Mr. Natitis, or myself, you are welcome just to email those. All of our information can be found on the Leonard High School website. But before everybody jumps off, please make sure that you are going on to the the Leonard website and under the resources tab selecting the 2122 programming button and then follow the links and the information there for how to pick those elective classes that Mr. Natitis was alluding to. You do have a choice in the classes that you take in addition to those required ones, okay? And we, we want to make sure that you aren't just put into a class, that you do put into something that's going to bring you that joy outside of the joy you get from being on our campus every day, all right? So if there is, uh, again, questions for the good of the order, if you will unmute yourself or raise your hand, we can take a few of those questions. If you do not have any questions for us, you are welcome to end the meeting. This meeting will be posted, again, uh, on our website in the next couple of days, probably over spring break. You'll get an email from us. Uh, and it, we're beyond excited. We are honored. We are thrilled that you have selected us to help you in your journey. We are here for you. If you need anything from us, please do not hesitate. Uh, we have some questions, Ms. 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 Green, in the in the Zoom. Uh, does two semesters of cheerleading count as a hope credit? Yes. Um, uh, what is the deadline for selecting electives? There is no hard deadline. Uh, I would do it as soon as possible. Um, how do you sign up for electives, uh, Mrs. Green? Did you want to explain that? Yeah, the elective link, there. It's again, it's on our website, so there is a link that you click on. You just fill out the information in the Microsoft Office forms, and there are drop-down menus and then clicks, so it's pretty easy to do. You just select them in the order of preference. Another question here. Do you need to select the AP course and college experiences as an elective when filling them out? No, those will be automatic. Um, uh, 
or do you just select no? Is, the, is, is this a new requirement that all freshmen take AP Human Geography? Yes. Uh, and, and, that, and, and that includes uh, all students uh, that uh, uh, score a three or above on their FSA scores uh, in, in, in middle school, uh, they are placed in AP Human Geography. And AP Human Geography has been part of our program for the last couple of years and is also part of the other Collegiate Academy programs at, uh, at Armwood, Spoto, and, and Leto. Um, here is, so if you had get hope for baseball and other sport like that, correct. If you're in a competitive sport like baseball, uh, football, volleyball, yes, two, two years of playing that sport uh, fulfills your hope requirement. What if you took Spanish two in middle school? If it is the high school credit Spanish, you, you, are, you are fine. Um, I do encourage you if, if you enjoyed your Spanish class to go on to Spanish three and AP Spanish. Uh, that is a great skill to master uh, foreign language. And if you have any questions about whether that language is a middle school or a high school, uh, that is an email for Mrs. Diaz, or just give her a call. We can look up district-wide grades. So unless you are coming from out of state, we can add or out of county. We can't look those up either. But even if you were at a charter school in Hillsborough County, we can look up those grades and those course numbers, and we can tell you if it fulfills the high school requirement. Uh, and the only classes that uh, electives that are our freshmen are not allowed to take. You will actually see some of them that say seniors only, or we do have a curriculum guide which will help you choose the electives that you want. And there's some suggestions on there that says, you know, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders only, things like that that we encourage, especially some of our upper level weight training classes. You have to have those fundamental classes before you're enrolled in like power lifting and things like that. Obviously, band, chorus, orchestra, two, three, and four, you have to have level one first. So there are some of those things, but if you just select the course, the type of course, we will put you in the right level based on the classes that you've taken before. Is there a volleyball team, a boys volleyball team at Leonard? I don't think so. No, there is not currently, but that doesn't mean there can't be, but there is not. Men's volleyball is not sanctioned by Hillsborough County, to the best of my knowledge. We do. That's a question that I can pose for our uh, administrator, our, uh, our APA, our assistant principal for administration, who serves as our athletic director. Uh, questions. What percentage of the time is spent on, on campus via HCC? Uh, traditionally, uh, obviously, pre-COVID, uh, it is two periods a day. Um, during the junior and senior year, 7th and 8th period, uh, Monday through Friday at HCC, um, again, during the junior and senior year. Uh, which electives do we have to take for ninth grade? Uh, one of them is AP Human Geography, uh, the, uh, the Collegiate Academy electives, the first year experience, health analysis, and personal finance. Um, again, uh, your next span, your next foreign language class, whether it's Spanish or ASL, um, you do you will have an opportunity to take one elective uh, per semester uh, for for high school. So uh, again, that's something that you can select. Uh, if you if you are going to take a four year, if you're going to participate in the four year elective program, uh, that's something that you know we can schedule you in all four years. Uh, and that's something that you'll have to discuss with your guidance counselor. Tell them, you know, I want to do ROTC all four years. I want to do the VET program. I want to. I want to be in chorus. I want to be in theater, etc. When will the perk be offered? Uh, we usually offer it in March of the freshman year, second semester. We're going to try something different this year and offer it a little earlier. We're hoping to uh, offer the perk test uh, during the first semester. I, I can't promise you exactly when it will be. Um, uh, but we're, we're, we're planning on doing it first semester this next this coming year instead of second semester. And Mr. Natitis, one of the questions, and, and I've gotten a couple of direct messages about this too, we have not yet been, been given directives uh, on how to do an on-campus orientation. So as soon as that opens up and as soon as we have some directive from our superintendent, we will absolutely schedule an on-campus tour 
Uh, worst case scenario is we'll do it during open house in August. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's the worst case scenario is that we will carve out some time for Collegiate Academy students during open house. Yeah, and, we, and, and we've done that before during mm -hmm. open house, mm -hmm. um, have a, a special session for uh, the, the, the Collegiate Academy as well. Um, but that would be great to have an on-campus orientation uh, where you come on uh, on campus, uh, tour the campus, uh, and have an opportunity to uh, speak to Collegiate Academy students as well. Um, one question was, resources on the website does not have early childhood development. Is that not an elective mention in the... In the, in the yeah, I, I sent that person a direct message. Yeah, it is. It's available. It is. It must I, I just be so. something, just just a, a weird click on something. But if you are not uh, able to sign up for any courses or you have any questions, please do not hesitate. You can email me personally. I'll be checking email uh, during spring break even. So just send us an email. Um, will there be an, any orientation? Okay. Uh, will there be required classes you'd be automatically scheduled for? As far as your Collegiate Academy courses, they are, they are automatically scheduled into your um, schedule. Uh, classes that are required for graduation, English 1, English 2, Biology, Chemistry, uh, your next math class, your next science class, uh, World History, Economics, uh, that is automatically scheduled into your, into your program. Um, and then uh, what is left uh, is is what we take and, and, and fill in with your with your uh, elective choices. Mrs. Diaz, there's a question about uh, is there a form for bright future volunteer hours? Can you speak to that for a moment? Yes, ma'am. Uh, this year we began using a um, an electronic version to collect all the uh, community service hours. It's called Proper Fish. And you no longer have to do any paperwork. And freshmen can begin their community service hours during the summer. So I believe there will be a link, uh, or there is a link in Hillsborough County uh, website, uh, so you could begin those volunteer hours uh, for your Bright Futures uh, scholarships. Mrs. Diaz, if you'll, and Mr. Notitis, if you'll help me remember, and Mr. Belcher and Mrs. Coffee Keller, if you'll help me remember, we'll get that put on uh, Leonard's website as well, if it's not already okay. there. There's a question about uh, asking or uh, selecting the language requirement as one of the electives. Yes, your world language requirement will be one of the electives. So if you have not yet taken Spanish 1, or ASL, and you want that to be that la the language that you start your freshman year, absolutely go ahead and take pick that as your first or second choice on that elective selection sheet. Um, we have a question. Uh, when do we enroll as, as a new student at the, at the school? Uh, is, uh, can you that usually doesn't happen. You Well, you don't have to enroll. All of your information rolls from uh, your previous school to us, so there's no need for you to uh, pre-register. We did have a couple of out-of-town, uh, actually out of, we had one out-of-state person, so if you're here, yay, uh, apply and get accepted. So you will have to enroll, but we will be in touch over the summer as far as getting that um getting that in. Uh, private schools, that we will reach out to you. We'll have our data processor and our registrar reach out to you. Like I said, we usually do that sometime in June is when we'll reach out about enrollment. Okay, there's a question here on busing. Um, if you live within the Leonard zone and you live more than two miles away from the campus, uh, you are guaranteed busing. Um, but we do not have magnet busing like other magnet programs do, where we're not part of the, uh, you know, uh, that uh, transfer station uh, system uh, that transports you from one part of the county to the other part. Um, we do have some choice buses uh, that have historically gone into um, the East Bay area. Uh, and we have been in the, have in the past uh, been able to put some Collegiate Academy students on those buses. But as far as guaranteed busing to our program, uh, there is not. If, if you live in the Riverview area, 
uh, or or um, uh, Sumner uh, or, or or Bloomingdale or, or Newsom uh, or Spoto, uh, there is no um, busing for you. And and even if there is, even if you live in the East Bay area, uh, you have to live close to one of those established bus bus stops in order to be placed on that bus. Uh, they will not create a bus stop for a collegiate student uh, or or magnet student. Uh, these again, those buses are for students that choice into Leonard, uh, not uh, go to Leonard via a magnet program. And I see um, Ms. Coffee Keller has posted, or someone has posted the uh, potterfish uh, uh, instructions there as well. And again, you can start your um, community service hours after middle school. So do not start them in May. Wait for wait for school to, to let out. You are you are uh, of, you know once you you leave middle school, you officially become a, a freshman. Then you may begin your community service hours. So you, you cannot uh, clock in hours uh, this month, next month, or in May. Uh, begin them in, you know, in June once uh, school is over, if you're, if you're looking to um, do, start your community service hours. And, and one thing that I do want to mention with community service hours, um, there is a, uh, uh, there, there are two frames or, or, or two lanes for, for uh, community service hours, 75 hours or 100 hours. Uh, students that are looking to go to competitive schools, um, some competitive, some competitive, competitive schools are looking for uh, more than two or three hundred uh, community service hours. Uh, so, if you're looking to attend schools like uh, Georgetown or or University of Chicago, uh, some of those schools are looking for a lot more than just a hundred community service hours. So, so be aware of that. So if you're if you're if you're if, if, if those are your ambitions to go to a competitive uh, school, uh, it might be a good idea to, to start those community service hours early, uh, so you can achieve those two three hundred hours that, that the, those kind of schools are looking for. Any other questions? If I can just address, Go ahead. if I can just address the question, I believe uh, uh, the private school student. How do I do electives before enrollment? Uh, you you will do the elective choices or the selection of electives during the enrollment uh, time that you come in to meet with us. I actually, sorry, Mrs. Diaz, I sent her a private message. Since that was a form that we created, she can actually just go ahead and log it in, and I can just save her selections. Okay. But we do, we do absolutely have the opportunity for any new enrolling student uh, to review the elections selection sheets, too, so we can do it either way, electronically or in person, either way. All right, if there are no other questions, again, thank you. We are unbelievably excited for you to be a part of our Longhorn family and for you to, just to see what you become, your legacy that you leave on our campus. Parents, students alike, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate. We are here for you. Again, it has been our pleasure. I'm Mrs. Green, Mr. Natitis. Mrs. Diaz, Mrs. Calloway, and of course our fearless leader, Mrs. Savino. We are here for you. We are very excited to see you. Have a wonderful night, a great spring break. Please stay healthy, and we will see everybody in person in Mrs. August. Green, there are Have a couple a of questions there. Yes, sir. Um, will, is there a confirmation for electives, and is where will where, – where, no, there's no. No, there's no confirmation for electives. No. Um, if you hit the button that says submit and you get that thank you for participating and I think it says something like go Longhorns, I promise you it's there. We have gotten uh, 1,500 submissions already and every single one of them is there. Uh, it's, I, 
we got you. We will reach out to you again sometime over the summer if we don't have your elective selections. And where will we post a, a, a uh, the recording of the Zoom? Will it be on our school camp on our it, school website? It will, no, it will be on the website. I just don't know where yet. As soon as we get it posted, we'll we'll send out the information too. Okay, excellent. And again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Collegiate Academy at, at Leonard High School. Uh, and I look forward to working with all of you. Uh, and and have, a, have, have, a, have a great evening. And again, I look forward to meeting you as well, uh, either in a uh, upcoming orientation uh, coming soon or in the summer, or if we have to, again, we'll have to wait till the beginning of next year. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please email me uh, at christos.notitis at sdhc.a12.fl.us. And again, have a good evening.